Gareth, we're just catching up after a, a series of games with the Northern Ireland under 17s. They've had three games across the last week. How, how have they done? Um, with the, you working with them? Yeah, listen, the, the lads acquitted themselves fantastically well. Um, we, were, we were pleased with how they took the information on. Uh, it was massive learning week for them. Um, three different formations for three three different games with little preparation time and they took it on brilliantly, applied themselves fantastically and moving forward uh, we have a good group of players that will hopefully now have the experience of the, this under 17s campaign uh, and that will stand them in, in really good stead for the 19s. And we've heard before about kind of how difficult it could be even for the senior squad to have these kind of triple headers three games in a row and for, it's the same for the, the under 17 some real big tests in there at Italy at Inver Park among them as well. Yeah, I mean the the effort that they put in the, the the stats that came back from the game was was fantastic. We had to, you know, we had to freshen it up a little bit and and, and utilize the squad in, in the last game because the the numbers the kids were giving us in terms of physical output was was fantastic and um, it's it's tough, but it's all part of learning for them. It's all part of their development. It's all part of um, the experience of being an international an international player and that's not stand them in good stead. Uh, and at Lauren, we're, we're rightly proud of having four members in the squad. I think maybe the, the most representation any club has had, and, and uh, that's been, been great for them to, to be in and around the squad and obviously players who are uh, full time in England and, and the UK. Yeah, it was. I mean, the, the, boys, were, the boys were fantastic. They, um, they played a major part in, in, the, in the three games and uh, represented the club with uh, distinction, both on and off, off the pitch. And, uh, you know, that's a credit to themselves, a credit to the club. And, um, being being around being around that area uh, of of the other players, I suppose that that have come in from England and that there, you know, no, and the other the other local players, no one looked out of place, and um, really, it was good for them to see the level of a top international team uh, of that age group against uh, when they played against Italy, and you know that that was the message to them: if you're aspiring to be a top level footballer. That's that's your standard. That's your benchmark, and you know that's the message we give them going away from the camp. Uh, go away, do your individual stuff, continue your learning, and uh, keep your head down. And you know the only person that can stop you being a fo uh, a footballer is actually yourself. Uh, and coming from the, the full time environment that they do, the, the four lads here, that that must be you know a big advantage. And the likes of yourself and Jared Little, the manager, looking at you know who who just like that, that kind of must must help them be in uh, in that full time environment. Yeah, it is. Like I said, they they played a major part in it as well, and uh, it's no no coincidence that the, the you know the boys' fitness levels from uh, full time football, their their you know their touch, their receiving passes, their their technique, um, it only improves with the with the day to day interaction and and the day to day coaching and the day to day learning. So, um, it's, they're they're a big part of it. Um, getting that exposure to it, as as I say, is. It, as part of their development, and um, you know, it was, it was brilliant to have them there. Uh, and you've been in and around kind of the, the academy lads, and I'm sure growing up in Lauren, you would have loved something like that to, <laughs> to be a part of. You know, with with the kind of the, the teaching they get both on and off the pitch. Yeah, you know, I've said it before. It's it's a fantastic project that's going on down here. Um, it's growing. It's getting a bigger and, and better reputation as well. And and um, I'm. I'm I'm hearing that there's kids being turned turned away because just because of sheer numbers. So that's fantastic for the towns, fantastic for the boys to get the opportunity to be exposed to the coaching, to be around the first team, to be dropping in and out of the first team, um, but also as well to do the the education side of things because it's you know it's massively that is massively important to to their, their learning as well as the aspirations to be a footballer. Uh, and just finally, you're, you're obviously coaching with the under-17s and, and that's a, a great experience to, to be kind of around that level and uh, away in these camps and triple headers as we've talked about as well. Yeah, it is. For, uh, for me as well, I, listen, I wanted to, to dip into it and, and try and help the boys uh, out with just, you know, experience and stuff and, and be, having been away on so many trips, you know what's needed and you know how it is around the hotel, how how much spare time they have, how much time they have to, uh, you know, to be doing to be doing other things. Listen, some of the boys were doing homework at different times and stuff. Um, you know, that's what that we're dealing with. But listen, I'm enjoying it. Um, I've as aspirations of going, obviously, eventually going and coaching higher. But um, I'm enjoying working with it at the minute, and hopefully can can help get a few few players through into the senior squad. Brilliant. Thank you.